Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Promazol 3D. This is a program that allows you to do multiple sequence alignments, which also has the additional benefit of doing phylogenetic analysis as well. So we're going to take a look at using it. And the example that I have for you today is to take a look at three different DNA polymerase proteins from different viruses. So the one I have here is from E. coli. You will want to take the FAST-A sequence from NCBI or Uniprot or any of them. And you're going to copy it into Promosomal 3D, which can be found at prodata.swmed.edu slash Promosomal 3D. And you go ahead and you put your FASTA sequences one after another into the program. Well, as you noticed a minute ago, you can also put them into a text file and you can upload that text file using this right here. Or you can also uh, upload individual protein uh, database files, PDB files, individually here or by chain ID, whichever is best for you. So I just put in hepatitis B, here's my bacillus virus, get my FASTA sequence for you here. Okay, so I have three proteins I want to multiple align. Now I can scroll down, sometimes if I have a very big job for it to align, it's best to put in an email so it will email you when you're done. Um, otherwise you can keep the tab open and just have it percolating in the background while you're doing other things. You can give it a name if you'd like, uh, really doesn't matter. And then if you need any other additional information about how the program does the alignment, it's down here. So we're gonna go ahead and click Submit. Now this is, a, how do I put this, a time-consuming process. So a lot of times I'll just have this going in the background and then when I see that it comes up, I can go take a look at my results. Otherwise you're gonna be sitting here biting your nails waiting for it to get done. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go for a minute and come back when it is done. Welcome back. Now that we have our results, we can take a look at them. So the first box is our alignment results. Generally, they don't show it, so you've got to click the Show button. This is usually what you'll see in paper publications, and also if you're in one of my courses, what you're going to be tested on. So when you take a look at these, you'll see your sequences aligned. And in this particular case, notice how they are all highlighted in this kind of pink magenta color. That means that the computer sees these three sequences as being physiologically different, or I should say phylogenetically different from each other. Now, what you can sometimes see is the top is magenta, and then the bottom ones would be black font. In that case, the black fonted ones are related to the magenta one. And then you can see, for example, a magenta, black, black, magenta, black. So then the two magenta ones would be different from each other, but then the corresponding black ones underneath would go with the magenta that's above it. So when you see that in your literature and exams and results, that's what that means. From here, then, you've got your sequences. And then notice how you've got dashes in order to do your multiple sequence alignment. These are your gaps. Um, and then they're trying to identify secondary structures that are conserved amongst the proteins that you gave the program. So you'll see, for example, I have a conserved very small alpha helix, little larger alpha helixes. These generally correspond with beta sheets. You get the idea there. And then you get a consensus amino acid sequence, which then shows you, hey, I've got some areas where I have a particular type of amino acid, whether it's going to be something that's high in sulfa bonds, or it's going to be something that has a particular charge, um, or prefers a particular amino, or sorry, uh, acidity, you get the idea that. Notice here, because I don't have a lot of conservation, um, from a phylogenetic standpoint, that I'm not getting a lot of conservation from these sequences. So in that case, my example here is probably not the best one. So with that said, I'm going to go get some other results to show you, and I will be right back. Welcome back. Okay, so what you are looking at now is actually a multiple sequence alignment that I published in a paper a couple of years ago. 
I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you get a better view of what we're looking at. Okay. Um, as I described earlier, you're going to have your magenta sequences being your lead or your template sequences. And then I have some hypothetical proteins that we were trying to see if they were uh, potentially related. And notice how, for example, this hypothetical protein here in black, this 058, is actually uh, phylogenetically related to this quinolone resistance protein. As we were mentioning with the other results, you're going to have your consensus amino acid sequence for the proteins that you're trying to multiple align. Sometimes it's easier to have fewer proteins in order to get a better consensus sequence if that's what you're after. But most of the time you're looking for the conserved uh, secondary structures such as this very nice alpha helix that you see here. And so you notice how things are then color coded based on that. Um, if you have any questions, then please feel free to either email me at laura.harris at davenport.edu, or you can leave them in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.